Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be talking about the F1 and the slide extension tool here. Um, I'm not going to bore you by the assembly. I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, how it was packaged. It was super nice, clean, like every other X Tool product it comes with a pamphlet on top. All of the accessories in the box looks amazing. Um, with that out of the way, the assembly is pretty straightforward. You just slide this entire attachment onto the base plate here. There's two screws. There's one here and then one under here. You go through the calibration, which doesn't come in the pamphlet, but as soon as you click um, use slide extension in the, uh, the Xtool software here, it'll slide this all the way over to let you tighten up both screws and then you will uh, align it using a laser beam that just shoots a straight signal out to align with this piece right here. Very straightforward. I believe you guys can do that all on your own. Don't wanna bore you with that. With that out of the way, I wanna do, I do wanna say that I really like the slide extension. The way they thought it out was great. There are some things that I don't really like. Um, it just because uh, I think it was an oversight and it was kind of a user error on my part. So there's nothing wrong with the device itself. But uh, I'll show you guys uh, something that I ran into specifically with these little um, attachments here. So these little attachments, they can slide right into the grooves here. And then they have like a little spring set here to, for friction. That's what I'm using right here. Or you can use these little clamps right here. What I ran into is when you put the lid down, um, obviously it can, it can hit this metal piece here but this little black piece on the other side is just slightly raised. So you'll see a project here later. It printed perfectly, but at the very end, it caught this little tiny lip, causing this to jump a little bit. And then the, the uh, score cut the very end messed up the whole print. I'll show you guys that. Um, and then I'll show you guys a really cool project I was gonna do with a wooden stock. It didn't quite burn through. I don't think 10 watts is strong enough plus the curvature of the stock caused an issue. So you'll see that project here in a little bit as well. But with all that out of the way, let's show you a good known working project here that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just do straight up text. Um, we're gonna do a score on this. It's gonna be about seven and a half inches wide. This is about an eight inch board here. So let me show you the framing on this. The framing on this is super cool. You can do either uh, a square mode or an outline mode. Uh, personally, I love outline mode most, so I'm gonna do outline mode here. So we're gonna hit framing, and then it's gonna send it to the machine itself, and as you can see, it's moving on its own here. It's gonna show you where the, um, the text is gonna be framed at. So once this is done, you can see it flashing right there. It's perfectly aligned where I want it, but now your turn signal here, is, instead of being a focus up and down, when it's in framing mode, it'll actually let you make, do your machine left and right. So you can see exactly how far over this text is gonna go. And as you can see, it is, it is just about a half inch short of the eight inch board. It's seven and a half inches wide for the text. And you can see that text all the way across as you zoom back and forth here. So that, Perfect, it looks great. We're gonna go ahead and click OK on this and we're gonna stop the framing. There we go. Uh, now that it's done framing, all we gotta do is hit process in the, uh, the application itself here. So I just hit process, now I'm just gonna hit start and then it's gonna beep. And now that it's done, we're gonna hit start. Now this is where I ran into the issue before. If you put the lid down, um, it's gonna hit, hit this piece here. I thought that was gonna be low enough, but it's actually a little bit higher on this black edge here. So you wanna go up just a little bit, maybe like that far, just to be safe so it doesn't catch this, uh, catch this black edge. I'm gonna go up even higher just to be safe. And then uh, what you wanna do for this is you wanna use some safety goggles here because you don't wanna look at that blue beam at all. So don't do that. Just put on some safety goggle, uh, goggles that may look dorky or something but that's okay, better your eyes than looking in style. So we're gonna hit start here, and then you'll see the actual machines take off, and it's gonna start printing and, and doing that score line here. Right now, I'm just using the default settings um, from Xtool to do that. Should go pretty quick since it's just a score of text. 
Um, and then right after this, I'll show you guys some uh, longer prints here. The two that I messed up, one, one just messed up strictly due to settings. The other messed up due to that jump catching this edge of this black beam right, or this black um, extension right here. So this is almost done. It's finishing up now. Uh, it's doing just the last few letters, and there we go. The whole thing is done. We're gonna wait for the fumes to suck out here. That took 44 seconds according to Xtool software here. Now that we're done, we can lift this whole thing up just like that. And then uh, I got this pressure fit in here. So I'm gonna push this way and then lift it right out. And right there, as you can see, is the text Fresh Start Customs. And uh, that's all it is. Super easy, super cool. Um, they put a lot of thought into this. The fact that it goes uh, right across like that is awesome. Um, something that I, you will note for engraving, instead of using that oscillating mirror in there, it's gonna be a back and forth motion that you're used to, but this time it's up and down. So you can see, I'll show you this project here uh, where it caught on this little piece right here, this little black piece right here. Um, it caught on this plastic lid and made it jump. And that's why the score at the very end is off. It jumped by like a quarter of an inch. But whenever it's engraving, you're gonna see it engraved this way, back and forth in the same area as it moves. So that's gonna slow down your engraves a lot with the slide machine, but you can get way larger prints this way. So that's awesome. Um, with all that out of the way, that pretty much covers the slide tool. I know I didn't go that in depth, but I think you guys get a basic under understanding of what it is. Let me go ahead and show you guys these projects. If you have any questions about this that I didn't answer that you do want to know, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll answer them for you. But other than that, yeah, that's pretty much the slide extension from uh, Xtool with their F1 machine. Um, and then the only downsides, like I said, is catching on that lip there or um, having to have this up a little bit higher and you need to use goggles so you can't really use the shield in this mode that well. So that's the only downside to it. But overall, that's awesome. This is gonna work great for batching um, like coasters. You can do multiple coasters. There's all sorts of uh, different options in here. They even segmented it in the actual Xtool software. Um, but that's enough for me talking. Let's go ahead and show you these two projects. The first one I'm going to show you is the wood stock that I completely messed up all on settings on my own. Um, and then the second one is going to be this project so you can see it a little bit more in depth. And uh, other than that, we'll catch you guys in the next one.